Well, today we're continuing our visit with Gulfport Behavioral System on uh, Highway 49 in Gulfport, finding out all the wonderful services that they do have. And we're talking now to Cynthia Render Leach, who yes. is the Human Resources Director. Yes, thank you. How are you? Very good. Good Tell, to have you back. Thank you. It's good to be back. I know. Give us a little bit of uh, background about yourself and exactly what you do here at Gulfport Behavioral. Sure, sure. Um, I've been in Human Resources for over 30 plus years, mm -hmm. primarily in healthcare. So I came to UHS in 2018. And I'm part of the responsibility to help recruit wonderful staff to take mm -hmm. care of our patients. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you have so, so many wonderful, as you mentioned, staff members. Yes. We've met some of them in the past. Yes. Well, we're going to talk to some more of them today. And um, you take a lot of pride in hiring the right ones. Exactly. You know, the people that we look for, are people that have that empathetic spirit, you know, they're the ones that are attracted, who want to help this patient population. Mm -hmm. Um, we're very fortunate to have wonderful clinical staff, physicians, nurse practitioners, nursing team, program therapists, recreation therapists, you name it. But everybody feels responsible for the care of the patients while they're here. And we want to embody that. We want to make sure they understand no matter what role they play, they're vital to the success of our organization and the care of our, and treatment of our patients. Well, we're going to talk to a few of them today here on Great. the show. So thank you so much for being here with us. Absolutely. Thank you. Now, Eddie Richards is the business military liaison here at Gulfport Behavioral. How are you? Doing well, sir. How are you today? Yeah, I'm well, thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your role here at Gulfport Behavioral. Okay. I'm actually a retired military. I've uh, been a little 29 years with the military. Thanks and for your service. Position opened up here for me to become the military liaison. And what I do is I go around to different military installations and tell people about what kind of unit we have here. We actually have a thing called Eagle's View. It's a 18 bed wing, strictly for military. It's active duty, guard and reserve. Mm -hmm. And we are putting our veterans on that wing also. Oh, that's awesome. Now, uh, your role as far as working with them once you get them in here, um, do you have different groups that you work with? Well, we have different things we have set up, but everything is set up just like the military. They have a basic schedule they go by, which they do the pet therapy with Doc, yoga therapy and the different therapies. Uh, but the big thing is they're kept together as a military unit. Mm -hmm. In other words, they're not put in with the other groups. They're kept together. A lot of times, just them being together in their groups, they open up a lot more because they've been there, done that with these same people, and they can right. relate to each other. So our therapist works for them as a group and one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I have a lot of extra opportunities for them to share and things like that. You have something else you want to tell us about? Yes, sir. Uh, Congress passed an act. It's called Compact Act, and where veterans who have been discharged if they're having any signs or things about maybe hurting themselves, it provides them 30 days of paid care, inpatient care, and 90 days of outpatient care at no cost to them. And if they're not enrolled in VA, we get them enrolled in VA. And we also have some groups from the outside come in and help them work claims so they can get VA benefits. And we're using our local partners with the VFWs, American Legions, and people like that to get involved in helping them. Also helping them get housing if they need housing and jobs if they need jobs. So we don't work with them just while they're here. We care about them once they leave to put them back in society to be productive in society. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thanks, you. Now, Danae Piquel is in charge of admissions and intake. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. Good, how are you? Tell us a little bit about the job that you do here at Gulfport Behavioral. Okay, so in admissions, we offer assessments 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even on um, holidays. We assess for level of care, whether that be inpatient or outpatient treatment. Uh, we try to find placement for patients, whether that's at our facility for our inpatient treatment or if it is in an outpatient setting like our IOP or PHP program. Mm -hmm. We do provide referrals to um, community mental health as well, but we do uh, level of care assessments 24 hours a day. And of course, if they want to you know, call in to, to make an appointment, something like that, there's an 800 number there that's of course. at the bottom of your screen, but uh, it's 800-831-1700. Yes. And, yes. Uh, and you can uh, take care of them. Yes, of course, we do. Um, we provide appointments and walk-ins 24 hours Today. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, Michelle Wilson, talking about uh, recreational therapy, correct? Yes. Tell us a, a little bit about what they do here. Okay. Our therapeutic recreational department, they strive to provide opportunities uh, for patients to learn new coping strategies and enhance interest in previous activities that they may have uh, kind of went by the wayside. Mm -hmm. uh, the primary focus is increasing our patients' five dimensionals of health, physical, emotional, social, spiritual, and intellectual. 
Uh, we have inclusive programming, including creative expression, uh, meditation, relaxation, physical exercise, yoga, and of course the famous pet therapy. The duck. Yes, but we also do pickleball. I love pickleball. Yes. <clears throat> That's great, great mm -hmm. exercise. It is. And then afterwards, the recreational therapists discuss their goals and how they can bring those activities and those coping skills into their regular life once they're discharged. That's awesome. <laughs> Michelle, thank you so much. We're going to talk to the CEO now here at Gulfport Behavioral. Uh, Dean Doty is the CEO here at Gulfport Behavioral. How are you, sir? It's a pleasure Good. meeting you. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate Tell it. us a little bit about uh, you know, your role here and uh, how you deal with patients and everything. Okay. As CEO, uh, I'm responsible for our, our hospital for inpatient and out, outpatient services. Mm -hmm. We offer uh, in, inpatient services for uh, children, adolescents, and adults uh, starting at, at age four and um, up to, you know, in their 70s or mm -hmm. some, sometimes their 80s. And we treat uh, folks that have mental health issues such as depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, and we have recently uh, begun uh, treating folks with uh, substance use disorders as well. Oh, wow. Yes. That's awesome. Thank you. The different uh, programs that they have here. You know, we've been coming out here for the last few years, mm -hmm. and uh, every time we come out here, we find out more wonderful things that they're doing here at Gulfport Behavioral. Thank you. We, um, so, you know, about one in three or one in four uh, people will experience a uh, mental health or substance abuse crisis in their lifetime, and so it, you know, it, it's safe to say that every American will have uh, an impact in um, in the disorders, mm -hmm. uh, meaning you know, someone in your family or a you know, friend right. will, will be affected by mental health or substance use disorders. And it you know, not only leads to you know, lost productivity, but it also leads to uh, an impact in their, in their roles of functioning, whether they're a mother, a father, a, a parent, you know, a brother, a sister, or you know, just, a, just a friend. And each one is uh, you deal with on an individual basis too, because each one is gonna definitely be different. Correct, and so you know, each, each each person will, you know, have an assessment, and uh, you know, there's no cost. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to, to determine, you know, do they have a, a mental mental health issue that you know needs some level of care for treatment, and then we will help them determine what is best for them. All right. Dean Doty, thank you so much, CEO you. here at Gulfport Behavioral. If you need some help, you've got a family member that needs some help, what you need to do is call a number on your screen, set up an appointment with them, as uh, we've heard that they are uh, available here for you uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And uh, you know, get some help that you may need here from Gulfport Behavioral System. They're located on Highway 49 in Gulfport, north of I-10.